you know, attempt to do research and, and find solutions. Now, my solution, um, the what she has given me is um, I have a CD that um, corrects the bioorganic body, uh, and the CD is listened to in the night. It's put on an iPod for about five hours uh, to deactivate the first level of the DNA, and once it's on for five hours, what it does, it restores the memories in our bioorganic body because what the draconians have done, they have erased our memories to such a huge extent. Uh, the DNA is also implanted with false information that's not benevolent. So the CD corrects memories, restores the bioorganic body, and it restores it restores all the abandonment issues and all the mind control that makes the bioorganic body believe it has to die, it has to reincarnate. Uh, so that is done for two months. It's a two month process for the first okay. level of the DNA. Okay, I understand. Um, so when on the CD, what are you using in order to do that? Are you using music tones? What do you use? Okay, so what is done? This was guided. I, you know, I, I, even though I'm a past life regressionist, it's a regression that takes the person into their physical body to find out the memories uh, of what happened to them. Why do they have this situation in their life? And you don't even have to listen to it. It will still be effective because it's healing your, the bioorganic body that was traumatized in these fear based matrices. So, the benevolent angel comes in in the middle of the session and her frequency heals the um, wounding that has happened in that memory. So the memories become restored and the human being uh, starts remembering their true origins and their past lives. And uh, through my rehabilitation, when I first rehabilitated my menstrual pain, I, I started to remember what happened to me. And now I know exactly what happened to me, why I had this severe pain. I have the wisdom. And the crystal, what the crystal did was it deactivated the DNA implants and the curse frequency in the DNA that right protects um, the human being. It frees the human being so that it the person can uh, potentialize and, um, and, and, and grow. And after the first level DNA is completed, um, there is four strands activated in a human being. Four strands. The human being has now uh, two strands, and a lot of people think they have more strands activated. And when I muscle test, it is not correct. I thought so too. Like when I was, before I did this research, I was under this delusion that I had all my 12-strand DNA activated. According to the benevolent guide that I have, if you had a 12-strand activated, you wouldn't be in a fear matrix at all. And this civilization, everyone in this civilization has a two-strand uh, DNA. There is only one person I found. I'm sure there's more. There's one person who I have found. I don't want to name names. Um, who teaches Merkaba? Who I uh, when I muscle test, non-implant based has five DNA strands activated. And uh, when I check the students and the teachers, it's not the same. Their DNA is not activated as he is. So. So what I'm trying to say is uh, we really have to get understand the reality and then find solutions so that you can really get real results. Okay, uh, thank you for that. And what I would like you to do is talk uh, about the different uses of the crystals because I notice on your website that you are talking about how to clear uh, the ley lines and electromagnetic frequencies, and so on. And I think that would be valuable for people to hear. 
Oh, okay. So some of the crystals um, have um, other uses. If you have a cell phone, the crystal, the little crystal, if you put the little uh, liberalis crystal on your cell phone, it will deactivate any harmful radiation. And also the necklaces that uh, deactivate the DNA and, and illnesses um, in the DNA uh, also will deactivate EMF radiation, harmful radiation. If you mu- if you live in the city, you can muscle test it. It's bombarded with EMF, harmful radiation. The crystal will deactivate the harmful radiation around you, um, and it will also um, correct meridian lines in the ecosystem, and it will also uh, deactivate chlorine and toxins in food and water. So there's many uses. And also clear your um, your house from uh, negative Hartman ley lines, the negative energies in, in the house. Okay. And for people that are learning about this, could you explain to them how to find a crystal, how, how, to, how to actually purchase a crystal? Like besides, I mean, I see that they're available to buy from your website, but aside from that, there, there's a technique in finding crystals, and I wonder if you could go into that for people. Okay, well, this a liberalis crystal cannot be bought anywhere. Um, this crystal is um, a special crystal. Uh, it, it was told to me, if, and if you muscle test long distance, it's a crystal that uh, Ascended Masters, um, the real ones, not the New Age kind, the real masters who can disappear and appear and who are immortal physically, some of them wear these crystals. And um, I had a friend who um, was visited by uh, an immortal master. He would disappear and appear, and he gave her a ring. And when I muscle tested, it was exactly the same vibration as the liberalis crystal that the uh, benevolent angel uh, charges for me. So I have not found anywhere else where you can buy this crystal. Um some people might not believe in crystals and they believe, well, I don't need a crystal to deactivate my DNA. And they, you know, they were conditioned that this is not appropriate. Um, so crystals are used in benevolent societies for many uses. And um, it's their main energy source, crystalline energy. And actually the DNA is crystalline in nature. So the crystal matches the vibration of the um, DNA. And this crystal, because it's so high vibrational, um, it works as a laser. It heals the amygdala. The brain has a little um, organ in the brain where all the trauma imprints are located. And the crystal actually works as a laser, heals the trauma imprints in the brain and in the DNA. It heals the genetic imprinting in the DNA. Okay. Uh, have you ever had any interactions in terms of your theories with uh, scientists or, you know, or practitioners, other practitioners? Uh, on DNA? Yes. Uh, well, I, I, um, there's one person that I know who claims to do DNA healing, but when I checked her DNA, um, it was only 10% implant-based, activated. So... Um, uh, I, I don't have, I only muscle tested DNA experts via uh, online who other people referred me to, and it wasn't the real thing. There's one real thing person that I have found is the real thing, and he was actually also uh, guided by a benevolent guide. He also claims that a benevolent uh, angel guide came to him and um, showed him how to do it. But he was showing other people how to do it, but I don't see the results in, in his students. I see. When you say that you're uh, muscle testing, you're you're doing this long distance? Yeah, I'm doing it long distance. I check the cash I can check a cash records long distance to to read a bioorganic body. Uh, so I can do that too. Anybody can do it if you know how. I also on the on my website I show people how to do it. The accurate way, um, you, if you're inaccurate, um, 
you can check how I do it, and it takes a long time to learn. Okay. Um, now we have uh, we're going to be going to a break at the top of the hour. It will be for just four minutes, and there will.